Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with Cruise Tips TV and what on earth is going on here? Well, it is Halloween, so I am dressed today as a social butterfly. I hope you like my costume. It also happens to be my birthday today, so I am extra excited to dress up every year and act like a kid, even though I'm in the, let's just say, over 21 age group. Anyway, we thought we would do a little something different today and film our vlog from our backyard on a blustery Halloween night before we go trick-or-treating and before we go out for my steak dinner that my husband is going to buy me for my birthday tonight. So hey, why not, right? Something a little bit new and different. Hope you like our pumpkins. We have our YouTube pumpkin and another fun one that is modeled to look a little bit like my son. And we're gonna jump right into some question answering tonight. We had so many questions this week. We're going to forego all of the cruise news and answer some fun questions. Let's get started with Yolanda Weems question. Yolanda is planning a 15 day Hawaiian cruise on Princess September 27th, taking a 14 and 15 year old son and daughter and wants to know if there's going to be anything to entertain them because, oh my goodness, you guys, 10 sea days out of 15 days, that's a lot. So I have lots of things to tell you about this, lots of ideas for you, Yolanda. And of course, we hope our subscribers can also leave some comments below about this. But here are my thoughts. First of all, the kids are going to love the pools. They're absolutely going to love spending time in the pools. And on Princess, you're gonna have covered pools, open pools, hot tubs, so much to choose from. So I think that that's probably going to be something that they very much enjoy. They're gonna love the buffet, they're gonna love the pizza, they're gonna love the ice cream. And they're very likely going to have some kids on board in their age group. They're the right age for the teen clubs. They're not too old, so that should be really nice for them. So I think that's gonna be awesome. There's something, I, a little homework that I have for you, Yolanda. I think that you should go to cruiseradio.net and listen to podcast number 397. That podcast is going to talk all about a Hawaiian cruise. Now, it's a different cruise. It's the cruise that starts over in Hawaii, but they give some killer tips on some kind of a shore excursion pass that is a flat rate and covers all of the islands. And there's also just some really general, uh, wonderful tips for cruising Hawaii, and I think it's gonna help you a lot. You'll also notice on that podcast that we happen to be giving some um, inside cruise cabin tips. It's a total coincidence that that is an episode we were featured on, but I think you're gonna really enjoy that. So check it out. And as we think of some more ideas for the teens, we will let you know. Our next question today comes from Al Ross. Hey, Al. Um, Al said, husband and I recently did a Mediterranean cruise on the Norwegian Epic and wants to know if we've been or what our thoughts are on Mediterranean cruises. My husband and I lived in Europe a long time ago for a while, so we've done the Europe thing, and right now we're not quite as interested in cruising Europe. But as our son gets older, I'm sure that we're going to be super excited to do that again. But for right now, we're staying closer to home. Mexican Riviera, Alaska, and Caribbean are a little bit more our speed. Hope that helps you. Our next question today is from K Craig K. Craig wants to know a little bit about our thoughts on small ship cruising and would we recommend small ship cruising like Silver Sea and Crystal Cruises? We would absolutely recommend it. Our travel agent tells us all the time what an awesome experience they are. The truth is we can't really afford most of those small ship cruise experiences. They're really premium lines. But if you're interested in something a little bit more intimate and a little bit more social, and you can afford it, I absolutely recommend it, Craig, and I think you should give it a try and let us know how it goes. Hope that that helps you. Next question today is kind of a little bit of a two-fold question from Evelyn. Evelyn is going on her honeymoon in December and wants to know if we have any suggestions for honeymooning. So um, we found out what ship Evelyn is going on. She's going on Carnival Conquest. So I did some research on that ship and I have some great tips for you. Evelyn, lots of tips here. And again, I'm sure that our subscribers are going to pitch in in the comments below. But here's what we recommend. Number one, I think you should try to make a reservation at the ship table. It's a wonderful culinary experience. On most ships, it's about $75 per person, but I hear nothing but amazing things. Sounds romantic. Do it. Also, maybe make a reservation in the steakhouse. It's a great deal for $30, $35. Highly recommend it. Another thing that might be kind of fun on your honeymoon is to do couples massage at the spa. Love that. Martini tasting at the Alchemy Bar might be kind of fun for you guys. And as far as your ports are concerned, it looks like on the Carnival Conquest, you are going to the Caribbean. At Amber Cove, Nassau, and Grand Turk, I thought of a few things that if I were going on this trip that I would like to do. And I'm going to share them with you. These may not be your style, but I tried to look at it from if this is my honeymoon, what would I want to do? 
in Grand Turk, I think the catamaran tour looks really nice. And on Amber Cove, maybe renting a cabana could be nice. I'm not sure if those are available still, but you could try that out. Amber Cove also has a VIP catamaran tour. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's getting kind of windy. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> a VIP catamaran tour to Cayo Arena. And that looks like it's a coral island in the Dominican Republic in the middle of the ocean just off of... Um, Punta Rusia. I've never been there, but it does sound really fun. I hope that that helps you, Evelyn. If I've missed anything, please be sure to let me know. Now we are going to answer Nancy's question. Nancy wants to know what the best way to get from LAX to the port is. And I'm assuming that you mean the port of Long Beach, Nancy, because you're going on a Carnival Miracle. We love that ship, by the way. It's awesome. Hope you've seen all of our videos. I think you have. You could take Super Shuttle, 40 to 50 bucks approximately. You could take primetime shuttle, but I hear a lot of people these days are taking Uber or Lyft. And of course, there's always the cruise line transportation or cruise line transfers, but if it were me, I'd probably try Uber on this one. So good luck to you. Nancy also mentioned that they want some ideas for what to do on that Carnival Miracle trip. We absolutely love that seven night Mexican Riviera trip. And a few ideas for you, Nancy. In Cabo, you might, if you've never been to Cabo before, start with a tour, get the lay of the land, and then next time you go, adventure out on your own. They have some fun tours, like going to a glass blowing factory, um, visiting a local restaurant, maybe going to a beach or something like that. And then at the end, you could just maybe settle on a, on a beach or something. What we do when we go to Cabo almost every time is we take a water taxi right from the area where you get off the ship over to Madano Beach, and we settle in at one of the restaurants right on the beach. It's very swimmable and you can have cheap food and drinks there and have the time of your life for probably under 75 bucks for a family of four. So I recommend something like that in Cabo. Um, if you want to get out of Cabo, you could take the bus tour to Todos Santos or do something like that. A lot of high adventure things to do in Cabo from ATVs to zip lines. So there's lots of options for you there. In um, Puerto Vallarta, one tour that we always recommend to people is the catamaran tour to Las Caletas. Not only do you get to take a beautiful scenic catamaran tour all the way down the south coast of Puerto Vallarta, but you get to spend the day at basically an isolated beach paradise. It's amazing. Highly recommend Las Coletas. In Mazatlan, there's a lot of different things you can do, but the one thing you have to do is get out of the port. You're going to be in a very industrial port. You need to get out of there. You can take a little pulmonia, which is an open air taxi cab, go to the Golden Zone, do some shopping. You could go to a hotel and get a day pass for the day. Uh, you could take a tour to Deer Island or Stone Island. There's a ton to do. Just make sure that you don't, unless you plan on staying on the ship, make sure that you don't just try to stay right in that general area. There's absolutely nothing to do. Hope that that helps you. Let us know how that goes. Our last little tidbit today is a subscriber tip from Ray Hunter Music. And um, you probably been hearing lately, we've been talking a lot about keeping your wine safe in your carry-on bag when you're, uh, you know, taking it on the ship. And Ray Hunter Music said that BevMo has some bubble wrap style pouches for wine. And I never knew that. So I think that's an awesome tip. You can also look forward to seeing a couple of new cruise gear episodes coming from us very soon. We actually invested in some new stuff, some new gear. The first of which is a wine pouch that totally blew us away. It was a great deal and it's a really thick pouch that you can pop your wine in, fold over and Velcro off and it would totally protect your luggage from spills if you were to have one. So watch for that. I'm kind of giving away our cruise gear episodes here, but that's okay. The next thing that we um, uh, invested in is for our next cruise. And oh, should I tell them what it is, honey? Or should I just surprise them? Tell them, surprise them. Okay, I'm gonna surprise you with this one, but don't laugh at me when you see our second cruise gear episode because it's an item that I actually don't like, but I bought out of necessity. So the suspense should be killing you by now. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for putting up with our goofy vlog this week. We thought it would be fun to do something new and show you what we're doing for Halloween. Um, if you have any questions, comments, episode ideas, please leave them in the comments below. We love hearing from you. As you know, we've done dozens and dozens of different episodes based on you guys. So please don't forget to give us your inspiration. Thank you again so much for watching. Happy Halloween. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Surprise birthday hug. Aw, thank you, honey. I love it when you give me surprises. Oh my God, you're covered in glitter. I totally glittered you. You have glitter all over your collar. <laughs> Aww. Hey, click me to subscribe.